So the San Francisco Giants have announced their coaching staff for 2020. I took a look at it, and who the hell are these people? And he drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And today, the San Francisco Giants announced their new coaching staff. And it is interesting. A lot of new names, a lot of young names, a lot of names with not a lot of big league experience. Definitely going to try a different direction here. They're doing something different. They're going to talk about it a little bit. Um, a lot of fans are going to be turned off. A lot of fans are going to say, what the hell is this? A lot of the fan fans are sick of all this stuff that they're doing. But it is a complete change in culture and a complete change change in the way things are done. Now, the way things were done before resulted in three World Series. Yes, the Giants were down for a few years, but I didn't know, didn't think that it was necessary to make this drastic of a change, but it's happening. Farhan Zaidi is now the president of baseball operations. We got a new young GM and they're bringing in these young coaches who are apparently going to be better most of these coaches are younger than I am, and I am not 40 yet. So we got a lot of youngsters out there in their 30s, but they do have experience coaching. They know analytics. They know the game, and that's great. You would think you'd want some guys out there with actual major league experience. They do have a few, but not that many anymore. So obviously Gabe Kapler's got big league experience, and he is the manager. But uh, it's, it's an interesting uh, change here. Let's just look at the uh, new coaches here. Let's just take a look at them. These are the names, okay? Bench coach Kai Correa. Hitting coaches, and I, and I apologize, I might pronounce some of these names wrong. I don't know a lot of these guys. Uh, hitting coaches, Justin Veal, Donnie Ecker I talked about, uh, director of hitting, Dustin Lynn, uh, third base coach, obviously we know Ron Wotus, pitching coach, Andrew Bailey, pitching director, Brian Bannister, I do know Brian Bannister, Assisting, assistant pitching coach, Ethan Katz, Ethan Katz, and bullpen coach, Craig Albernaz. So these new coaches are supposed to have serious knowledge of the game. They're supposed to be very intelligent and they're supposed to be very skilled at expressing what they know to the players. So this is a totally different style of baseball right here and we'll see how it works out. And now you notice that it's not just the typical, you know, pitching coach, bullpen coach, bench coach, hitting coach. No, now we got a pitching coach. We got an assistant pitching director. We got a pitching director. We got an assistant pitching director, pitching coach to the director of the coach of the assistant. Over time, people's responsibilities evolve, Zaidi said. Actual responsibilities depend on organizational need. They depend on other people in the organization and they depend on your interests. There's a rough structure and people will evolve over time. And hence we have a pitching director. So I think the bottom line is they're trying to hire not just people who played for a long time and said, hey, my name is such and such, I'm famous, I'd like to be a coach. Oh, great, put on the uniform, you're a coach now. Instead, they're looking for guys who are good at coaching, who have proven that they know how to express their ideas, express their knowledge, and help players actually perform better. Even though they might not be better themselves, they have some knowledge that they can share, uh, whether it's analytical, whether it's on a computer, whether it's you know actual you know hitting or pitching, and uh, mechanics and things like that they're going to express those ideas hopefully so uh, this is fine with me get that roster straightened out get some young players in the system which they did the other day with will wilson that's what i'm mostly worried about but it is interesting uh, all these new coaches that we never heard of we could take a look at a few of them kai correa he was the minor league defensive coordinator for cleveland and he was a college coach before that. I'm actually happy that this guy is going to be the bench coach because I did not want Wotus to be the bench coach. I wanted Wotus to be the third base coach, and that's what's going to happen. Justin Veal spent the last three years in the Dodgers system, and in 2019, he was the hitting coach for Single A Great Lakes. He also played minor league baseball in 2013-2014 with the Orioles. Then you have Ecker, who I talked about. He was the Reds' assistant hitting coach. He seems like very knowledgeable, and the Reds liked him. A lot of the hitters liked him. They were thinking that he was going to be a big part of the offense going forward for the Reds. So that seems like a good hire. Dustin Lynn, director of hitting. So director of hitting. He is directing the hitting. Okay, that's nice. He was before this with the Mariners as their director of hitting development and strategies. So we'll see how that works out. Andrew Bailey. Now he, and now Andrew Bailey actually played some Major League Baseball. He was the closer with the A's from 2009 to 2011. And he was the AL Rookie of the Year in 2009. 
So we'll see how that works out. And then you have Brian Bannister. He was part of the Red Sox coaching staff, and during that time, their pitching ranked among the top third of the American League in ERA, strikeouts per nine innings, strikeouts to walk ratio, and opponents' OPS. Ethan Katz was a minor league assistant pitching coordinator for the Giants in 2019. He was a pitching coach with the Angels and Mariners before that, so this is another regular hire, and we'll see how that works out with Katz. Last, we got Craig Abernaz, who was with the Rays as a minor league field coordinator last couple of years. He played in the minor leagues and never got to the big leagues, but he was a catcher in the minors. So Craig Albernaz is going to be the new bullpen coach. So these are the guys. I just wanted to run through them real quick. I'm not going to go into major in-depth biographies because we're going to learn who these guys are. We're going to see them out there. At the end of the day, I'm worried about the roster. I'm just going to be honest, but I felt like since they made all these big moves that I should at least announce it, talk about it, talk about this new direction. Um, they're not all young guys who, you know, never play big league baseball. There's a mixture there, but a lot of them are going to be, this is, this is definitely a new direction when you're bringing in the director of this, the director of that, the assistant director of this, and all these different titles and just trying to, to do it in a different way. And I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how the veterans are going to respond to these guys. We got, you know, Brandon Belt, Brandon Crawford, Buster Posey still there who were around for all those championships. Sad to see an era go by. The Bochi era is over. We're going into the Kaplas, excuse me, Kapler, not Kaplas, 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 Kapler slash Zaidi era. So let's get ready for that, everybody, because it's here. But let's see some players, guys. Let's see some players. Sign some free agents. Get some more youngsters. Do what you got to do. I want to see more excitement. I was really happy with that Will Wilson deal because it was just like, whoa, we got actually something good here. Something definitely good. You know, losing Pilar is not really a good thing. I mean, it's even if it is financially or something, it doesn't feel good when you lose players. We want to gain players. Let's go. Go, Zaidi, let's go. Let's do it. 2020 San Francisco Giants. Let's do this. Thank you guys so much for joining me. What do you think about this new coaching staff? This is insane. What do y'all think about it? Make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm giving away a Bruce Bochy Baba head this weekend and it's going out to one of my subscribers. Make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description and y'all have a fantastic day. We will talk to you next time. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oregon.